get to the sea. Coming up next on the adventures of Sinbad. Oh, she jumped. I don't hear anything. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Sinbad, I think I found something. What's that smell? Sweet. Like old corpses. Are we talking monsters here? Go! Now, nobody's ever been up to Naupo's lair and come down and talked about it. I thought I heard the last of him. He made monsters. Exactly how many of these things are we talking about? Hundreds of them. When I'm finished here, I'll take one of my pregnant queens and go to another land. Oh, did I mention I'd need your boat? We'll dig a passageway from the lake to a point above one of the caverns, blow a hole in it, and funnel the water into it. <sighs> We're gonna need some bait. Say I to a sea lion? A sea goddess, more like it. It's 
all right now. You're safe. Please. You've got to get me to Goshri. I've got to find someone to save us. Save you from what? From... from the stalkers. Tell me more about these stalkers, Terran. Could they be warriors or soldiers? The results of magic? Yeah. I don't think so. I've never seen such violence, such destruction, and we don't practice magic. No one's ever seen these things before. No one. Please, I've got to get to Goshiri and bring back help. Warriors, soldiers, anybody. Look, this is all we have. My father and some other clan leaders took up a collection. But once the stalkers are gone, we'll raise more. We'll build ships, we'll trade. Please, I'll pay you to take me there. Easy now. Goshiri's a long ways off. Please! Why don't you let me and my crew look for the stalkers first? We may be able to help. But... It would save you a long voyage. Sinbad. We have to get fresh water anyway. Fate led you to the right ship, Terran. Bryn has magic. Farouz knows science, and the rest of us... Should know better. <laughs> Your people need that. But your payment? For now? Let's just consider this shore leave. You should rest a while. Then we'll take a longboat and go ashore. All the way down the road, man. Thank you, Captain. The name's Sinbad. Firth said he'd send for us by morning. It's not like him to forget. Maybe he overslept. Firth? Firth? Maybe he's out in the fields. Maybe we should come back later. Good idea.
Anything? Nothing. Wait. Look. What is it? I don't hear anything. No. There's something there. It could be just the wind. No. Debris. I know. Looks like it's been scattered by a tornado. Well, exactly, but... The countryside's intact. Sinbad? I know, I feel it too. Saddled horse? Where's the rider? Check it out, Bryn. They're waiting for their owners, but... Where are the owners? Does anyone live here? Berth, the farmer. Another one. Something's up. Taryn, take care of the horses. This just happened. No sign of bodies. Sweet, like old corpses. Any ideas? Secretions of some sort. Sinbad! field was used for grazing and for escape now it's a graveyard for Ruth it's the same secretions are you sensing anything just that we should get out of here. Yeah. Let me walk around a while. It's okay. What's... It's okay. It's okay. Easy. Come here. The horses. Sinbad. I think I found something. Sinbad? Do bar. Guys? Something spooked the horses. Yeah. Is your village far from here? No, not too far. I suggest we get going. Whatever trash that farmhouse could still be nearby. <laughs> Found something in the field. Go on, go on. Uh, little bits of fruit, flesh. I think that sticky substance was a combination of food remnants, things that are sweet mostly, and saliva. Well, maybe some other ingredients I'm not aware of. Are we talking monsters here? Well, let's just say I'm offering a hypothesis concerning abnormal phenomena. <laughs> We're talking monsters. Huh? Terran, your village. Lead the way. Yeah. 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 
any of your exploding sticks. I feel naked without them. I need two. Light me. Evacuate the village. Let go! You're safe. Oh. Everyone must leave the village now. Father, a stalker. Monsters. Is there a place we can hide nearby? No, we're a lakeside village. Excellent. Head to the lake. Everyone to the lake. Come on. Ants can't swim. You're a genius. word. Sorry I'm late. You missed all the fun. Yeah. We were surrounded by the ants, but they wouldn't go in the water. They seemed afraid. They retreated, but they'll be back. Father, this is Sinbad. Seems you're safe. For now. Have your people make camp over there. We're camping there. <laughs> Now that we know what we're facing, we have to find a way to destroy them. No easy task. Ants are the most tenacious creatures on Earth. So we've noticed. Well, some can lift over 50 times their weight. They're very organized, too. Their colonies are run precisely. Oh. Colonies? Exactly how many of these things are we talking about? Hundreds of them. In every ant colony, there are soldiers, farmers, cows, workers, and the queen. We're up against an army of these things? Quite possibly. They haven't been created by magic, Sinbad. They're as real as you and me. Mm. When did this all start? Well, shortly after Naupo arrived. 
Who's now open? <laughs> That's a question we've been wondering. Our island's turned into a killing field since he landed on the leeward side. He moved into the abandoned castle, and we haven't seen him since. Now, nobody's ever been up to Naupo's lair and come down and talked about it. For all we know, he may have an entire army up there. He's rebuilt the castle. He must have some help. Help your mother now. Bruce? Naupo. Thought I heard the last of him. He's a scientist. He lived in Basra. It's just before I joined the crew. I remember Naupo. He was called a lot of things, but never a scientist. He made monsters. Well, technically, but he was very bright. He brought back the knowledge of brain science from Egypt. Then he started experimenting on humans and animals. Swapping parts. And his patients? The aforementioned monsters. He was banished from Basra. And found his way here. How far away is this castle? A half day's ride. I know a shortcut. Taran! I know. It's dangerous. It was dangerous for me to run to the ocean, but I brought back Sinbad, didn't I? Now that you brought me back, I give the orders. You stay here and give us directions. Sure. He's the captain. Jubar, Rangar, see what kind of barricades you can come up with. Will do. Post guards, hit the water at the first sign of danger. We're gonna pay a little visit to this now. Hopefully he'll be in a talkative mood. And if he isn't? We'll get him into one. Think Naupo has an army? I think this trek's been a bit too easy. Sinbad? Slow and steady. I think this may be his idea of an escort. Soul to be seen. Looks like we're expected. There's no sign of any servants. It's marvelous. State of the art. Ah, fellow scientist. It is rare that my work is appreciated. Please, sit, eat, drink, and all will be explained. We'll pass on the food and go with the explanation. Ah, man of action. Tell me, is there anyone among you beside our scientist friend who thinks? If you have come to harm me, I must warn you, you'll fail in your task. Stay where you are, my friends, or my little imp will have you for dinner. He adores seafood. Now, 
please sit. I said, sit. You knew we were coming. Oh, yes, I saw you come ashore. But now that you're here, I can't let you leave. You will remain as my guests until I say otherwise. And if we refuse? Those ants. Experiments? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yes, the byproducts of a good deed gone awry, I'm afraid. Those things are accidents? Mutations? Of a sort. Have a potato. See, I was working on a growth hormone, and I created a superfood. One that would accelerate both human and physical growth. Now, I tried it out in a few islanders. And? Oh, quite grisly, I'm afraid. So I threw the food away. It attracted one or two ants, and they grew and multiplied, and now I have a whole colony of them. Monsters. Oh, hardly. My children are quite intelligent. They see me as a father figure, I suppose. You know, actually, I outrank their queen. Yeah. Oh, they're strong and obedient. Perfect workers. And the ultimate warriors. Yes. Well, there is that. But I'm putting their skills to good use. I mean, look how docile the warlike people of this island have become since my ants began their patrols. Oh, like it or not, Captain. They have brought peace and order to this land. Yeah, by killing most of the people on the island. But when I'm finished here, I'll take one of my pregnant queens and go to another land. Oh, did I mention I'd need your boat? What? <clears throat> You're crazy. Don't you find them irritating? No. I find madness irritating. You're a butcher. No. I'm a savior. And with your help, Captain, I will go to another kingdom and repeat my unification process. Then I will take another queen and go to another land until the entire world lives in peace and harmony. Patrolled by giant ants, with you as their leader. A bothersome task, I admit, but one that I am prepared for. But, I, in a sense, and correct me if I'm wrong, Aren't you just playing God? Not that that isn't admirable, mind you. It's just that, have you taken into consideration every possible hurdle? I, what I mean is... He's gonna be angry when he wakes up. Leave him. Without his whistle, he can't summon his troops. Check it out. What I don't understand is how these things can travel without being seen. And they're fast, but they travel in packs. I can't believe no one's seen them. You said they were intelligent. Sinbad! Kia! Dermot! Of course, they travel underground. That's where the colony is. That smell. They must be close. They're here, all right. They have to be. Light me. We have to locate the nest. Try and isolate the queen. 
What do we do then? Destroy her. So she can't breed any more troops. How? I don't know. Shh. How long will it take for them to dig their way out? Not long. And if they are on honeycomb with tunnels, they can pop up anywhere. Let's make a stand for it at the lake. My children will destroy all who stand in my way. We know that Naopu will be sending out his army of ants soon. And with those caverns beneath the surface, they could pop up anywhere. Yeah. And the island's full of them. This used to be quite the pirate hiding place. All us villagers know the caverns well. Well, couldn't we just build a raft and sit in the middle of the lake? The ants won't be able to reach us. They can't swim, remember? No good. They'd wait us out. Eventually, we'd have to come ashore to get food. The ants won't risk drowning themselves to... If they won't come to the water. We'll bring the water to them. I don't get it. We'll flood the caves. Exactly. We'll dig a passageway from the lake to a point above one of the caverns, blow a hole in it, and funnel the water into it. Well, this is the main chamber here. These caverns lead to the rest of the island. So we blow a hole on top of the main cavern, flood the water down into it, the ants will be drowned. What's to keep the ants in the tunnels long enough for the water to drown them? Good point. We're gonna need some bait. Me. You? Yeah. Bait? I've been called worse. You'll have to blast two holes in the tunnel's ceilings. One to let the water enter, and the other for me to get out once the flooding starts. So... so... He's better than so-so. Actually. When the floodgate is open, the lake water will flow right into there. It better. Yeah. You should be able to get in and out of that hole nicely and quickly. Ready to get everyone in the water if the ants show up. And that goes for you, too. Mm. 
I just shake your hand? You have it? When I stop reading this, let the water go. Understood. We'll be fine.
Thank you. Let's go. I'm getting Nancy watching these two lovebirds. Don't worry, he just needs another dose of luck. How does it look? Normal. It's funny. No matter how man tries to use Mother Nature for his own designs, she always wins out. <laughs> With Naupo gone and the Islanders united, Oriana will become quite a vorta call. <laughs> One will visit often, I suppose. Only if we have time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure there's no sign of the ants. If the queen survived, the whole colony, Farouk's, it's over. We won. Give your brain a rest. Yeah. Thanks. Next time on the adventures of Sinbad. Babe! Babe! Help me! If you care for him like I think you do, you'd get him on his ship and away from this island now. Don't go away! It's time to play! You! You join me. Fight on behalf of the Dark Forces. If you go, they'll never know about the girl. Where's the girl? In the dungeon. All you have to do is find us. Scratch is toying with you. I think you better get moving. I have to prepare my humble abode for guests. You've come to the end of your adventure. You harm any of them. Let's make a deal. I'll give you my soul. Freely and willingly. <laughs>